When I am old school. Um, I'm, I'm 45 years old this year. Uh, I am old school, I have to admit. Uh, but I'm learning the new school ways. I'm learning because my wife previously mentioned my wife. My wife is actually 27 years old. She's a little bit younger than me. <laughs> How did we meet? Good question. I know you didn't ask me, but I'm just pointing at you. <laughs> <laughs> we met the old school way, Facebook. Because <laughs> Facebook is so old school now. Twitter, Twitter is not. Right now, people are twittering, right now. <laughs> right now, Twitter is new school, Facebook is old school. We met the old school way. I am old school, ladies and gentlemen. My taste in movies is old school. My taste in music is old school. Because I, I am an old, I'm cool in the gang. I'm Earth, Wind and Fire. Oh, some old school people here, thank you very much. The Commodores. Yeah. You once, twice, three times a lady. And I love you. My wife hears this song and she goes, wow, old people music. <laughs> and I'm like, no, it's not old people music. This is old school music. This is Lionel Richie. This is Commodores. This is a time when music had to be... He throws the hand on the blade, which means his hand is not attached to his wrist or his elbow or his arm. He throws it. So he obviously gnaws his hand up, up the wrist and then throws it. For ya. <laughs> so now he is standing there in front of you without this arm blood spurting out, without this hand blood spurting out. And then what does he do? He's not, he's not dead yet. He's not dead yet. No, no. Because then he would throw himself in front of a train for ya. He would jump in front of a train for ya. So with blood spurting out of both orifices, <laughs> he then encourages you to go to station with the Api Malaysia, <laughs> wait for an oncoming train, <laughs> as it comes down the track, he then jumps in front of a train for you. <laughs> Not dead yet. <laughs> Not dead yet, ladies and gentlemen, because he then picks himself off the train tracks and declares to you that he would go through all his pain, take a bullet straight through the brain. So now, with, without an arm, without a hand, and run over by a train, he expects you to get a gun. You have to find this gun in order to then shoot him through the brain. Because he can't do it himself. How's he going to hold the gun? <laughs> he can't do it. You've got to do it, ladies. Ladies, you've got to do it. You've got to, you've got to sh take a bullet to the brain for you. So you have to now put yourself in danger, locate a gun, and then come and go. <laughs> Not dead yet. <laughs> because then, after he's been shot through the brain, he then picks himself up and makes his last declaration to you. I would go through all this pain, take a bullet straight through the brain, I would die for you. But you won't do the same. <laughs> he then guilt trips you. Ladies, do you want to go out with a guy like this? I know you don't. I know you don't. That's why I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen, that's my show for this evening. My name is Arthur Skanda. I've enjoyed. You guys, you guys have been an amazing audience. You have saved the best for last. Thank you very much.